New in the house, another new one from Revolution Games. This is Great War Battles, Volume 1, which uh, brings me hope that we'll see a Volume 2. This is Death of an Army, Ypres, 1914. Love this cover, so evocative. Love the color, love the sort of use of white space on here. I wish more war game uh, covers had sort of this artistic quality to them. Um, I don't really know too much about this, other than that it is a World War I game about the Battle of Ypres. And um, designed by Kerry Anderson, developed obviously by Roger Miller of Revolution Games. Charlie Kibler doing the counters, um, and Mark Mahaffey doing the box. I think one of Mark Mahaffey's best works here. I'm a big fan of his. Um, this is um, about uh, the Battle of Ypres, um, which there have been a couple of games about recently. Red Poppy's campaigns from Compass recent um, is the one that comes to mind. This is a brigade regiment level um, game about the the uh, the battle, and Germans versus the Entente. Um, I got the box version because, like I said, I love the art on it. So let's get this open. Um, I actually have not opened this yet, so I don't know what's in here. What's in here is a sheet about the counters. Dear customer, we've added a replacement counter sheet 1 to the game because the original counters were die-cut incorrectly. Also, counter sheet 3 should only be half a sheet. I see. So this must be counter sheet 3. And so it looks like it was supposed to be just this, and it comes with this. I wonder if the die-cut incorrectly is the same thing that happened to Warsaw 1920, where they were, like, reverse die-cut. I guess we'll find out. Uh, player 8, here's a reference to the markers, um, game state markers, how to read the counters. On the other side, hey, look at that, I could frame it. Got a uh, fire combat table, a melee combat table, harassing fire, reminder about stacking, terrain effects chart, all pretty standard. Yep, looks like there's two of these. Uh, pretty good. Uh, this is sort of an upgrade uh, somewhat from Revolution. They don't typically do player aids this nice. Uh, this is a setup sheet, which is nice. That's cool. This is the campaign setup. BEF, German 4th Army, French 8th. Yeah, so it looks like it's like right on the line where the Brits meet the French. Battle of Ypres. Um, here is another scenario setup that interestingly doesn't have graphics on the backside. Uh huh. October 29th and November 4th. I wonder what the campaign scenario, I wonder how long that is. Here are the exclusive rules. So this is going to be, um, it looks like, yeah. So this is just going to be, this is a really small booklet, actually. It's only four pages, so I think it's just a fold-out, yeah. So this is going to be the rules specifically to this game. Designer's notes on the back, bibliography. Yeah, so here's the special rules just for this game. I guess if there's a volume two, we'll get one of these in each of them. Um, not in the scenarios here, um, tells you actually what they are. Um, th really three pages if you don't count the front. Um, or the back actually, so it's more like two pages. So there's, there's the rules for, for, uh, the actual game. Here's the Great War Battle series rules. I assume that this will be included in other volumes in the series. This one comes in at 12 pages, pretty typical revolution. Got the sequence of play on the back, designer's note. So it's really only 11 Mm, yeah, it's really only 11 pages of rules. It's actually uh, a bit nicer than Revolution stuff. The paper quality is a little bit nicer. The layout's a little bit nicer. No color, but that's okay. You can see like they have a border now around the outside. It looks like Revolution kind of stepping up their stepping up their game. Um, it doesn't look like too complicated. This is about the same. This is about when you buy a Revolution game, you're going to get about 12 pages of rules. No different here. It's about what Warsaw was. Here's a D6, a tiny white D6. So, looks like that's all you need to play. Here are the counters. Um, this is counter sheet three. Looks like this is the duplicate one. Yeah, so really we just have an extra set of whatever's on this sheet. We only need to punch one of them. These are big counters. These are the same stock, pretty thick, uh, that was in Warsaw 1920. I really like those counters, so I'm happy to see um, that we're going to get more of the same. Here are the units. These look like the Germans. We got the 6th Army and whatever the other army was. I can't remember at this particular point. But we got some regiments. We got some... Uh, Battalions, some brigades. Looks like you activate by formation, it would seem. Here's the backside. Um, not sure what the values are. Certainly, one of them's probably firepower. Well, maybe one of them's melee. Not entirely certain. I have to read the rules. I literally just bought this blind because I like Revolution and I like World War One. Here are the French and the BEF. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's cute. I like that they put the, actually they did it on the Germans too. I like that they put the flag inside the NATO symbol. That's a, that's a nice little touch. I didn't know, quite notice on the Germans, but you can see the German Empire flag in there. You got the French and the British Union Jack. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. 
rather than just the NATO symbol. Um, okay, here's the map. Let's see what we got here. Uh, the first thing I notice is that these hexes are really nice and big. Uh, love a map with big hexes. Um, yeah, pretty typical. This looks right now pretty typical revolution stuff. It's not like the most artistic map, but typically the maps are very readable. Kind of reminds me of the Soissons map a little bit with the way the forests are here. Looks like some highland. Mostly clear, actually. Clear terrain. Um, here is the turn record track up at the top. Allied offboard artillery, German offboard artillery, October 20th till September 12th, it looks like. Excuse me, September, that'd be going backwards in time. October 20th to November 12th is the campaign scenario. You can see all it looks like the reinforcements that come in. Looks like this is the end of the first scenario, so a five turn scenario. Here's another scenario that uh, would start on the 29th and go to the 4th, so seven turns or so. Overall, I really like the look of this. Um, hexes, like I said, nice and big. The counters will look pretty good on such a a clear, you know, you'll be able to see where all the units are, which is cool. Here's Pascondale. Yeah, so excited to play this. I'm going to play this on the channel. Um, had no, Like I said, I know zero zilch about it. I bought it blind because um, I've always had good experiences with their games. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that quick little look about what's in the box for... Get the D6. Death of an Army, Ypres 1914. Curious to see what other battles are going to be coming out of this system by Carrie Anderson.